in my country, uh, one third of people have stopped watching TV. Uh, why? Because they are watching it uh, using the web instead. So it's difficult to plan a TV campaign. Uh, Google has uh, changed the whole relationship that products have with customers and as I, as I say, social media is increasingly important. Uh, here is a website. Imagine it's a website of a hotel in London and you are going to stay in my city uh, next week. So you type in the name of the hotel and the first listing on Google is Wonderful Hotel. Fantastic. The second listing on Google is Terrible. Uh, rats. Food poisoning. Don't ever stay there. And on the right hand side, which is where Google wants it, is the official advertisement for the hotel group. Uh, a link to the website written by the marketing director with a, with a short uh, a comment by the CEO about the quality of the hotel. Now you have one mouse click only and I am doing a global survey so I'm interested in your own views uh, compared to other audience, audiences I have spoken to. I want you to think where do you go first? Which did you click on first? Was it the good story? Was it the official story about the, from the marketing department or was it a story about the rats? Put your hands up if you go first for the good story. Hello? There must be one or two. <laughs> Put your hands up if you go for the official marketing site to get the truth about the hotel. Three. Put your hands up if very sadly you are really worried about the rats. Now what we learned is this, oh by the way, who was it that wrote the comment about the beautiful hotel? Of course it was the manager of the hotel. You knew this. And who was it that wrote the story about the rats? Competitor, yes. <laughs> we know this. You know this, I know this, but every time I press on the story about the rats. So I will believe, you believe, the opinion of a stranger more than the opinion of the official marketing department. It has more power, even though you know that this opinion here was probably created not by a customer, <laughs> but actually by a competitor. So what does this mean? What it means is this. I had dinner recently with five people. They were the, uh, they owned companies which control 70% of all global advertising in the whole world. And they agreed with me that traditional marketing is dead. It's coming to an end. Why? Because, think about it. Imagine this hotel runs a huge TV campaign in Bulgaria and everybody starts typing the name of the hotel into Google. What will they see? They will simply learn stories about rats. And the more they spend on TV advertising, the more people will type the name into Google the more people will learn about the rats. So in fact, it would be better not to advertise on TV at all. Now, I am, of course, exaggerating a little bit to make us think. I'm just illustrating that today, all of us are being influenced a huge amount, more than we ever realize, by the comments of complete strangers. And Trust, building trust in our brand based on customer service is the number one way to grow retailing in tomorrow's world.